today I will be doing a rigging video because I know a lot of people on Roblox don't actually know how studio functions work or how to rig in general. So today I will just, you know, be showing that. And what every rigger uh, needs to know is that there's two invisible parts of the model that actually have to do with a little bit of scripting and just, you know, the basic part of the root of the model that every rig needs. It'll be this humanoid root part, which is pretty much like where your camera access is at, just everything in general. So when you're playing the model, this part is based off of where your camera is and where it goes. And then this part, which will be named the head, pretty much just saying where your um, the head of the actual model is. So your torso, head, so then you walk this way and it shows that the head is the front of the model. And then you would need to name, you know, this will have to be named the torso. And then a lot of people just name this fake head. Now these, the, mainly the these three right here are what need to be named on a model. And then what I like to do is, because I'm pretty lazy, I'll group this, right? And then I go here, I have this really nice plug in actually hold on let me take out torso so it doesn't ruin it click this I have a auto name and now all these things over here already named all right ah, crap hold on right erase this mode on me I have to do it again but yeah sometimes it'll do that not really at all but now I'll just click it now everything here has different as those names so it won't error in a rig and then you ungroup it. Now highlight everything, your torso, everything. And then you can click, hold on, there we go. Primary part, open your model. Humanoid root part, which has to be like that for it to actually work. We're just gonna name this model rig test. Now, with my, the thing I used to rig, which is called rig editor, it's a really nice software actually. Uh, your model has to come with a humanoid for it to work. Simply here, click this rig. For some reason that turned around it, but you know who cares? Not like we're putting this in anything. And you always do torso, not sorry, humanoid root to torso, and then torso to head. And then you can, you know, now you can basic rig. Do your torso, tail one, and then. Normally, I just do all of them, but then you come here, you edit the joint based on the turn at, how you want it to turn and how the movement is based to be. Boom, here, move this here, this here. All right, now I use this animation editor right here. Click this rig, create new, and then what the whole process of it does is it shows you how it's supposed to turn. So I move the joint here, so it turns based off that point. I move this joint leg right here, so it moves off of that point. It could be out a little more, but still you get the GIF. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Edit, edit this to here. That's a little too far down. Edit this here to here. Boom, now you have the tail part of the rig done. Now remember, a lot of models are a lot more detailed than this. Because I made this in like 10 minutes of studio, not even 10 minutes. So, basic. Boom, to neck one, neck two. And simply move the joints. Sometimes you don't have to move them, but 99% of the time you do, just so it doesn't look, you know, weird. And heads, a lot of people, this is just the way I rig, because it seems more realistic, because I move it more towards the middle. Because then, here, I'll show you in one minute, rig the eyeball. You don't need to move that normally unless you plan, I guess, blinking. And the jaw, I normally move the jaw here, then up one. Sometimes, not all the time. Like I said, it depends on the model. All right, see now everything came with the rig. And then with heads though, make it realistic. So when it moves, it's not so, it doesn't turn on the middle point axis. Nom, 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 all right? 
like I said, you don't normally have to move that, it doesn't matter. And now for the ligaments. I guess you can call that ligaments, just body parts. Torso, tail one, to leg. I usually just move these up a little, don't really have to move them in, just up, right about there. And then, you know, boom, boom, foot. See, with feet, they're tricky sometimes, because I'm not really, I don't really know ana an uh, anatomy that much. So that doesn't help. But normally I just move it back a little, so the way it rotates, I'm just using my hands as a signature. But yeah, and then toes, toes are pretty simple. Just rig it like right about, right about there. You know, because it's all about the turning, turning point, turning point, all the models. Boom. Now let's see what that looks like in animation editor. Alright. Leg movement. See? Very, it's very, see, it's all about the joints, how the joints work. And that, that see that could use some work because feet like I said I don't know anatomy that well but all right now I usually do the long part of the body on my rig and then I could do the leg hand etc boom boom see this this would be like the main arm right about there and this could be right about there boom boom That doesn't need moved in, but I'll move it in just just to do so. All right. Now that half is done. Now I have to do this half. Usually, because I'm stubborn and like my vision, I turn off cast shadows, just so it's easier for my eyes and everything. But boom, boom, boom. Some yeah. Sometimes you have to be careful. It's easier to mimic the leg ligaments on a simple model, like this. So you want to make the like the sides almost the exact same, or movement can just be a little little iffy in general. And I'm personally not an animator, so I'd have to get one of my friends to do that part as a video. Sorry about that, I had to do something. Anyways, all right, but yeah, you see what I mean right there? Almost the almost exact same, don't quote me on that. All right, back a little, maybe up one. Just give it some flexibility. Boom. This is kind of a speed run because, you know, it's a simple rig video, not like I need to go in depth. Most, I guess, Content creators like developers know how to rig, so, and it's just a basic skill you're gonna need like everywhere. So I thought I'd make a short video on it. Plus, I've been asked to by a few of my friends as well. So I thought, eh, why not? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, that should be complete. Check animation editor. Alright, I'm not an animator, so like, oh, I just realized these feet are chonky. Anyways, yeah, I guess that's pretty much rigging. I guess I can just pose this as a thumbnail. <laughs> Anyways, that's the end of the video. Uh, see you guys later. Hope you like my small, very sudden rigging tutorial.